Okay guys, looks like Dawal is taking over my channel. Yesterday's vlog on his H-1B visa got a lot of wonderful comments and likes and people want to know all this stuff, what goes on in US, especially visas and all these procedures. But today we are doing a 360. I'm sitting on the throne as always and making my friend Dawal do some work. So Dawal volunteered to also introduce us to his newest acquisition. Now, I shared that his visa is approved, so his newest acquisition does not have to be sold. He can enjoy it. And you're going to see what he bought. It is a set of four wheels, not two wheels. I'm, I'm still pushing Dawal to buy the two wheels. He said, yes, he's going to do this summer. Uh, but yes, uh, Dawal and I go for many rides on bike, car, all that stuff we enjoy. So, uh, Dawal had bought the X3 like me and now he's bought something else. As I say, if you're highly educated and working well and working hard in the US, you can have anything you want in life. So handing over to Dawal, who's kind of taking over from me on this channel. It's time for retirement. I think Dawal, you take over this channel. No problem. Uh, and yes, go see what Dawal has his new toy. Handing over to you, Dawal. Hey guys, welcome back. And thanks Ryan for featuring me again. What is that something that Ryan is talking about? Did I get something? Let's find out. So here you go, guys. It's 2021 Audi A4. It is slightly less, ignored just because it has, uh, it has snowed over here and I haven't cleaned the car yet in the cold. But here you go. This is what Ryan was talking about. I'm gonna feature less in this and I'm gonna speak more about my car. Uh, this is a 40 TFSI as many of you might be aware and uh, this was purchased in 20, late 2021 I did not tell this to anybody but uh, this was purchased in late 2021 uh, same 2021 model it's almost as good as brand new with literally no literally no miles on it nothing miles uh, so what are some of the key features that I like about Audi right uh, I do have this passive entry so if I put my hand over here and if I have the keys in my pocket it's going to open up and I like the way that they have changed the design of the uh, handle that was uh, never before in the previous year's Audi and again it's a new shape so if you could see over here and I'll show you just in a minute so if you see over here here right see how the lights are going uh, in a sequence that is something that I always love about Audis there is a new trim treatment that they have given over here it looks more or less like a chrome but yeah it is it is a chrome treatment that they have given uh, these wheels are something that I that I loved and I had taken as part of this package uh, other than that if you see over here it does come with a rear uh, rear and front sensors right there you go uh, and of course it is <laughs> I've paid a ton for the ton for this car so it is going to have uh, the reverse camera as well I guess here is the reverse camera uh, one of the other features that I liked about this car is you you wave your foot over here and the booth opens up. It is ample for me to have this kind of booth. Uh, just one person, so this is more than enough for me to have. Now let's stop this video over here and let's quickly hop on the uh, hop on the inside of the car because I'm kind of freezing. The interior, as you see, right. This this is one of the one of the best colors that at least I find uh, in in the Audis. Uh, it's called brown leather, I guess. I don't I don't exactly remember what it's called, but it's the brown leather treatment uh, and the leather seats that I get. There you go. Uh, let's fire up the car and let's uh, talk about the features. All right, it's time to talk about the interiors and the best feature, one of the best features of this car is the 10.1 inch, 10.1 uh, inch LCD, which is complete touchscreen, right? It's it's getting the new norm these days in the Germans and uh, the Japanese, but I think this, the street, this, uh, this is so smooth. The, the screen is so smooth and I can literally, it is as good as your tablet, right? It, it's like having your tablet in. So there's the home, there's the radio, there's the normal music, and there's the phone, and of course the last one is the navigation package. Uh, other, other than that, uh, I haven't taken the, the virtual cockpit this time because 
I I th I think it's it's not worth. I like the manual gauges, uh, though it's not just the manual gauge. There is an actually five or four point inch something uh, screen in between, and this is the phone. This is the phone list. Uh, coming down to the steering wheel, the steering wheel. Uh, one thing that I I always opt in is for the heated steering heated steering wheel. As you guys know, it's almost minus 15 right now in New York, uh, New Jersey area. So this is much needed. Let's activate the steering wheel. Coming back to coming back to the AC uh, AC vent or the AC vents. If you notice, they they started this kind of treatment from Audi and they kind of continued the tradition in all their in all their small cars and and legacy cars. So the vents run all the way across the dashboard. Coming over here. Uh, this is this is kind of a sensor uh, a sensor or some some kind of sensor they have they, they they have put over here. What I mean is, if I move my finger close to the button, you see how the buttons get highlighted, right? It senses that your that your uh, finger is coming close. Same goes here. If you put it uh, down like this, uh, the sensors get activated. Uh, coming down over here, I do have the drive select, so I do have a couple of drive modes that I could select from. I am always an auto fan, so let the let the car do the work. So uh, three drive modes: uh, start uh, on and off, engine start stop, uh, traction control, parking, and from here you can you can turn this off. Coming slightly down over here, the normal gear shift. Now, if you guys remember, in all the Audis, there was this uh, big uh, cursor thing that used to sit over here they removed that and they gave a big screen with a touch screen i think that is the best option that it did uh, considering i have enough storage space in uh, uh, in the center in the center console now if you notice over here it says lte which means there is a sim card that provides wi-fi to the whole or to the whole uh, whole of my car or the audi uh, some of the key features that i want to talk about this car is it has Android and Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay users. So if I have uh, two or more users sitting in, uh, we could set the profile and the car actually works as per the user profile. Uh, other than that, the whole the whole setting is actually from uh, actually from the screen. So what I mean is, if I go into the vehicle, if I go into uh, the service setting. And uh, remember how in the old older old days we used to uh, keep the wipers up and down so that uh, we could change it. Now that's all gone in in this new era, right? You just have to click on wiper change position. The wiper goes up, and you can do whatever you have to do. Uh, apart from that, uh, there's a there's a storage space. Uh, not that much, but I'm happy with whatever I've got so far. A good storage space over here. Uh, this slides up, the slides forward, backwards, and also you can move this up, up or down depending where where your comfortable uh, position is. Uh, other than that, uh, there is a there is a heated uh, heated mirrors. So in the cold, right, or even in the rain, if your if your mirror fogs up or something like that, you could always uh, turn it down. And the heat, uh, heat, the heated mirrors would uh, start working. Uh, as many of you guys know, uh, this is where you operate your headlight and also the fog lights. Uh, yeah, it's more or less. Uh, here's here's the start. Here's the engine start stop button that you you might be know you might be knowing. Uh, more or less, that's it. Let's quickly hop uh, back on the rear seat and see how the how the luggage uh, not the luggage but how the back space is. All right, we are in the back space. Uh, the car is adjusted to my driving seat. I think I think for me, I have an average Indian height. Uh, I think I do have enough of uh, enough of leg space over here, enough of uh, thigh thigh uh, thigh support as well. Uh, do you have speak? Do you have not small speakers or tweeters? Uh, big ones over here. Uh, there are three-way adjustable uh, three-way adjustable uh, climate controls. So the driver side, the passenger side. And in the rear as well, so that can be operated and managed, operated and managed, managed from here as well. Uh, last but not the least, let's not forget the sunroof. I do have sunroof because that's something that I really wanted in my cars. Uh, that's more or less it of my new acquisition. Uh, I hope you guys like it. Uh, any questions, comments, send it to Ryan, and he will take it from there. But before we wrap up, here's the 
cockpit view or the back view as you can see it's all it's all uh, reddish right uh, and we i do have two speakers in the back and the reading reading lamp of course uh, uh some other key features that uh, that is worth noting is the memory seats as you can see over here blind spot monitoring and it, let me take you to the engine bay so here's the engine bay of the audi one thing that is really worth uh, mentioning is this car is a mild hybrid yes you you heard that right this car is a mild hybrid what that means is at lower speeds the engine automatically shuts off and there is a huge battery in the trunk and with that battery basically the engine runs as you can see over here you see the wirings that are going uh, to the engine bay here's a spare wheel and just below the spare wheel there is a battery so what mild hybrid does is it saves your fuel it the engine shuts off uh, shuts off at the signal or the red light it shuts off the red light and as you can see over here there is the the battery meter so the back so it over here shows that it's running on battery i love this feature it saves me a lot of fuel uh, i've been to a one big trip uh, and on that trip it gave me close to i guess close to 18 uh, 18 kilometers per liter on the highway and i was absolutely thrilled by by the average considering this is a 2.0 turbo engine turbo engine that's it guys i'm gonna wrap up and i'm gonna hand it over back to ryan to uh, to conclude the video this is the reason i could not go and do the review with dawal and this is my tv remote which i just saved all right dawal thank you very much for the beautiful review and congrats again on a fantastic selection of car i love the interiors the that light brown color interiors and i love the color of the car too looks brand new in fact it is like new so yeah hope you guys like the audi a4 newest member of dawal's cars and uh, again his his uh, backdrop of good education good work ethic good uh, hard working guy has been able to afford all these uh, nice nice cars and soon a bike also yes dawal hope you listen to me and pick up your bike before april 1st oh, okay i'll give you till summer june 1st all right guys take care ryan vlogs live on instagram follow me there hope you like the video Put a like if you did for Dawal especially. Take care. Bye.